Hi, so um, we are the Multicultural Mixers, um, representing quite a few different countries around the world. And um, tonight we thought we'd share with you our, um, our hot tips um, for, you know, for you to use with your Thermomix. So I'm starting off and what I just wanted to share with you, I've got, I've got that many hot tips I could share, but I'm going to share, I might share two, be greedy. Um, so when you're making mayonnaise, it actually asks you to weigh the um, olive oil into a jug on top of your Thermomix. And then later on in the process, you drizzle that olive oil um, in, onto the lid, it goes through slowly and it emulsifies the mayonnaise. So my hot tip is why make washing up? Weigh your oil into your jar that you're gonna actually put your mayo in. So weigh it in there and then just use it as if it was a jug. So that is my number one hot tip. And my number two hot tip, which probably most of my customers know by now, is turbo. Using turbo to clean your bowl, to clean your blades. So whenever you've made a dip or a cake mixture and you scrape out your bowl, whenever you're scraping, you always push down the sides first and scrape out clockwise so that you're hitting against the rounded side of the blades, not the sharp side of the blades. And then once you've done that, if you've still got mixture around your blades, just use your turbo. That will central, we'll use a centrifugal force to push it to the outside of the bowl and easier to scrape out. Really, really important when you're using turbo, you need to hit your home button afterwards, otherwise the lid will not unlock. Um, so that is the really important thing to remember when you're using turbo. But um, I love both, the, both those tips. And now we will head over to Pearl for her tip. My tip, I just realized now because I had to grind some chilies to make chili powder. So I put a tissue between the lid and the uh, thermomix cover and the fumes don't come out, the powders don't fly around. That's that that you can do as well for uh, gr uh, your sugar, milling your sugar. You see all that powder coming out. So if you put, do that, you won't have any of that spray around. So Pearl, just clarifying, is it between the MC and the and the lid? Yes, correct. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Wonderful. Tori, what about your tip? Um, my tip is for any cooked boneless meat to shred it really simply. So it only takes four seconds in reverse. So hitting the button on the screen as well as for speed four. And then it comes out like this. Oh, perfect. <laughs> that Wonderful. was my dinner tonight, some slow cooked lamb. Wonderful. That, that looks amazing. And um, that's uh, I love it for chicken, particularly for, you know, salads and stuff in summer. It's uh, sandwiches, all sorts. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Boone. Okay, my tip is for an extra shine to your bowl after you washed it. Just top it up hot water to cover the blade and another tablespoon of white vinegar. Leave it for five or 10 minutes and give it a brush, a soil around with a brush and your bowl will be sparkling again. Thank you, that's great. Keisha. Okay, my tip is uh, to cut vegetables. Sometimes uh, Thermomix asks you for two, three centimeters. So if you cut two, three centimeters uh, vegetables, it's the size of the knob on the Thermomix. So this is your guide for cutting the vegetables. That's wonderful, thank you. Irene. Uh, my tip is for peeling garlic. So one piece, you know, not, not a problem. You can use a knife for it and you know, bang the knife over the top of it. But if you're trying to peel, peel a whole head of garlic, pull it apart, drop it into the Thermomix, pop it on reverse, five seconds, speed four. Um, if you add some water, basically the peel will separate. So then if you add some water into the bowl, all the peel floats to the top. So then you separate your um, garlic from the peels. That's a really great tip. And actually I've um, just ordered some, um, a whole a kilo of garlic. And I've been told I'm going to have to peel it and um, either store it in oil or um, freeze it. So um, I'll be using that one. Thank you very much. <laughs> and Mary, who we can't actually see, but hopefully she can unmute and tell us her tip. Okay, so my tip is um, to grind your coffee in the um, Thermomix, your coffee beans. So we bought a coffee machine last year and it didn't have a grinder with it. And I thought, hang on. I'll try the Thermomix and it just grinds it beautifully. 
really good consistency for about 20 seconds on full speed. That's wonderful. And I think, uh, I don't, I'm not a coffee drink, drinker, so I'm, I'm not an expert, but it's meant to be, you meant to have the freshest um, uh, ground coffee beans in your coffee, I believe. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, I just like to grind, you know, like a couple of, um, you know, coffees at a time. So it could be really fresh every time I use it. Fantastic. Thanks, ladies. Um, and we will share this.